All right, good morning. We are live in Coos Bay with Captain Brian. That's him. <laughs> He's the man. So here's something new that's starting in Coos Bay. It is, well, that's not the name of it. I put it on there, Fun Sway, because it's the fun way to see Coos Bay. That's right. God, that all rhymed. All of it. So, you guys, there really isn't a lot of ways to get on the water. You can go kayaking. Um, we went on a tug yesterday. Most people can't get on a tug. No. We have some pole. Um, and there's also, uh, well, the only other way is really a, is a kayak. And so you start, you're starting this. This hasn't even begun yet, right? This is new for Coos Bay. I did it last year in Bandon and saw success. So I bought a boat for Bandon, and this boat's more suitable for Coos Bay, and here we are. Okay, guys, and I want to remind you, we have a contest going on. Um, to Oregon's Adventure Coast. You can win it if you tag two people in this comment section and then tell us why you want to come to, to, to Oregon's Adventure Coast. Okay, that's what you got to do. Here's what you're going to win. Let's see if I can remember it all because Janice, that's her back there, put together this amazing package. Two nights at the Mill Casino. Two tickets to the Historical Museum, which we're going to go to later. Two tickets to the Maritime Museum out in, or the Maritime Life Center out in Charleston, which is a really hands-on kind of place. You can, great for the kids if you want to take them. Then we also have $75 to Shark's Restaurant where I ate last night and it was absolutely phenomenal. The greatest staff in the world and really, really good food. And yesterday, Rich from Spin Reel, you know what he gave us? What's that? He gave us a full day's rental of the slingshot, which he let me drive, and Janice got to go on a ride in it too. It's like the Batmobile things, the three wheelers. Oh yeah. And then he's going to give a half day on the razor, so you can. That's what you're going to get for this whole package. And uh, but you got to participate. You got to you got to write in here, uh, two people, tag two people, like our exploring page, and then uh, you know I told you what to do with the rest. So can we go for a ride? We're going right, right now. You guys, we're going to get on board. So I got to show you this this boat. This is so awesome. I want to get it from out here first. Check this out, you guys. <laughs> this is awesome. And it's a beautiful day on Coos Bay. So far, no wind. Um, there's Janice. <laughs> she's the mermaid. And uh, she's with Oregon's Adventure Coast. That's why we're here. And also, we want to thank our sponsors, Oregon Adventures Coast. That's one of our sponsors. Our other sponsors is Toyota and your Northwest Toyota dealers. Without them and Oregon's Adventure Coast, we would not be able to do this. So I'm going to climb aboard here. And, uh, oh, this is awesome. So look at this, you guys. We're right on the bay amongst all the truck, the, the tugboats and traffic that goes on in here. You pick up right here on the dock, right down at the uh, Coos Bay dock, don't you? That's right. Right across from the Fish and Chips on the 101. And we are underway. Well, I've lived on the Coquille River for 10 years and seen nobody doing tours. And I thought there's an opening there. I know people want to get out and do more than just fishing. A lot of people just want to get on the water and get the history and scenic beauty of the area. And I'd been looking for a unique to boat to do the tours on because anybody can go buy a 26 foot aluminum boat, but it doesn't have that charm. And uh, this boat uh, came up in front of me and I said, that might be the boat to do the tours because it is built. it was built in Myrtle Point. So it's actually the last ocean going boat built in Coos County. Really? So it's historical on that level. And so I'm really thrilled to be able to take people out on a piece of history and tell them about the history of the area. Because back in the day, this was the highway. This was it, yep. There was a mosquito fleet that operated here and uh, over over 70 uh, tall ships and, and ocean-going tugs were built uh, in these watersheds between Coos Bay and the Coquille River. You guys, and we should mention too, the tall ships are coming in either today or tomorrow. Oh, by the way, it's Brian's birthday, so we should wish him That's right. birthday. That's right. So everybody's calling him because he's got all these <laughs> friends. He's a pop. He's kind of a big deal, actually, down here in Coos Bay, North Bend, Charleston, aren't you? Big deal. Big that's deal. The biggest deal, yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah. That's what he tells himself. <laughs> I saw it on Facebook, so we know it's true. So, you guys, this is what you do. You, you come down here, and how do they get a hold of you? Through my website, coosboattours.com. And he'll take you out. And how many people can you get on here? I can take up to six at a time and bring whatever you'd like food and beverage. And you get a different view of Coos Bay. And there is the pirate ship that we were on yesterday. Right, Janice? Right. We got a tour of that yesterday. You guys are going to see more on that video later. Uh, we actually went inside there. There's a hot tub. <laughs> there really <laughs> That's is. That's right. There's a big hot tub inside that ship. 
It's super cool. So you guys, again, we do have a contest going. You can win an adventure trip to Oregon's Adventure Coast, but you gotta tag two people, and you gotta like our Exploring Oregon page, and then you gotta tell us why you want to come to Oregon's Adventure Coast. So what do you love about being out here, man? Oh, the fresh air. It's amazing to see what happens to people over a two hour cruise and how it revitalizes them just having the fresh air and sometimes if there's if it's windy and the waves kick up they'll get a little spray of salt look at there's the an face. osprey with a fish right there right there just went by he had a little oh he's, well we yeah. better not show that <laughs> we have orders <laughs> so look at this you guys this is this is what the port always was about shipbuilding and as yeah. you go on down, so how far do you take people? Well, I take people from that 101 dock in Coos Bay up around the McCullough Bridge and back, and that's about a two-hour trip. We uh, look in on the railroad bridge, and that pivot railroad bridge is where we r really make the turn. And if that trip is, if you've done it before, or if it's too windy and cold, we'll take a trip down up the Isthmus Slough, uh, up around about Shingle House and back, and that's a nice, mellow uh, ride as well. So this starts officially today? Yeah, today's the first day. This is the first in initial Coos Bay tour. So you guys, the other thing that starts today is the, uh, thank you, Farmer's Market in downtown Coos Bay. And we're gonna go down there in just a little bit. After we get off the boat, we're gonna go down there. And I'll tell you what, we went last year, Janice took us. <laughs> oh my God, I've never seen, you think the one in Eugene and Portland is big? This one brings people from all over. Um, I mean, seriously, the valley, people come down here and it's beautiful. It's really nice setup. And then later on, either today or tomorrow, we're gonna be visiting right there, the Coos History Museum, where they have an exhibit on, it's tattoos, right Janice? military tattoos so that's going to be i'm excited to see that and then we're also going to go to the uh the other what's the 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 art museum the coos art museum which is right in the heart of town and we're going to talk about steve prefontaine because he was born he's a native of coos bay and uh, there's the mill casino down there that's where you're going to stay if you win the package uh two nights there at the mill casino how long you lived in coos bay brian i've been in coos county for 12 years what brought you here uh, the scenic beauty, really. We, uh, my lady and I moved up from San Diego, and I came here to visit once and said, that's going to be home, and uh, I'm not leaving. You're staying. <laughs> I'm, I'm here, here to stay. My kids were born here, and we love it. It's a great place. So, you guys, this is the tour, Fun Shui. You can look it up online. Um, a great way to take your family, your kids, friends out for a... Do you do night cruises, too? I'll do... I'll do some uh, 4th of July cruises and special events. Uh, I don't have night cruises on the schedule, but I'll do night cruise special events. Somebody said, you need my house music playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I have a feeling Brian's house music is probably 70s rock and roll. It's probably Allman Brothers. <laughs> yeah, I could have guessed that. I'm right there with you. Hey, Janice. I'm going to come up here for a second. Are you okay? Uh -huh. I don't warn her. <laughs> Poor Janice. All Janice knows is be ready at any moment. Rick will be here. Okay, this is Janice. She's with Oregon's Adventure Coast. Um, so why is this such an added bonus for you guys? Well, it's, it's an added bonus because we haven't had any kind of a boat tour out on the bay that anybody could take. So the tall ships come once a year and you can take those out on the bay. Uh, you can go on a charter fishing, uh, but that's out usually more toward the ocean, right. out, of, out of Charleston. But there was no other opportunity for people to just get on the water. We're surrounded by water here, and it's a beautiful way to see how beautiful the towns are, how lovely our scenic beauty is. Now, you know what I wanted to mention, because yeah. I think you know about, I know you know about this, yeah. obviously, but right yes. there, so you guys see where all that sand is right here? So that is going to be the Coos Bay Village. It is a new development we're very excited about. It will have shops and restaurants and um, uh, I believe they're putting in a kayak launch there. So it will, will be easier for those who want to self-propel themselves on the water to get into the water. Um, there are a couple of uh, places where you can rent kayaks here in town and, and 
kayak here in the bay, especially when it's calm like it is today. Yeah. It's going to be phenomenal. So we're we are watching it with bated breath, waiting to see uh, how quickly the the structures will go up so that we will have uh, something new to. Um, to promote and for our visitors to, to see. Well, what a lot of people don't see from the road either is see all these pilings, you guys. This is where Coos Bay used to be. I mean, everything was on the river and you take boats up and down here and that's how you got from place to place. You didn't have highways and roads like that. It's, so when you're out here, like yesterday, we went on that towboat, right? uh, the tugboat. It was like, wow, this is how people used to see it. This is Which, how people used to travel. I mean, this was the way they went from home to market. Right was along the river and along the bay because we didn't have roads way back then. Okay, you guys, so again, contest going. Janice yes. has worked hard to put this together. Two nights at the Mill Casino. Two Fabulous. Two tickets to the Historical Museum. Two tickets to the- Charleston Ma Marine Life like Center. Oh, the and there's me. Um, and, and we also have dinner at Sharks, which I had last night. It was just amazing. Yep. Halibut, eat the halibut. Whatever yep. they have on special with yep. the fish, eat it. Yep. Um, and they have really good beer on tap because yes. they had Seven Devils, the oh, IPA. Oh gosh, yes. I love that. So, um, and then we also are giving away um, a day's use of a Razor? A oh, no, uh, no, no. A day's use of the slingshot, which is the Batmobile type vehicle. <laughs> so cool. And everybody stares at you when you drive it. Exactly. In, it? Yes. I was riding in one yesterday and it was like, we're being gawked at. Yeah. Um, but it's the coolest vehicle. It's those three wheelers. I have some videos of uh, on there on the page of there earlier right. that you can see. And then also a half day with the Razor out on the sand. Out on the sand. The dunes are a phenomenal adventure. Uh, you, you can go really fast or you can go kind of slow, but you go up and down these hills. It's almost like being on a roller coaster. Yeah, it's super fun. I super think it's fun. more fun than somebody else drives. Yeah. I totally <laughs> Cause, agree. Because Janice and I would not do what they were doing. I, no, I wouldn't <laughs> drive it, but I really enjoy being out there. Uh, there's one place, uh, Dune 10, where you can see 23 miles out to sea. It's a phenomenal view. It's really so, fun. And uh, here we are out on the, on the bay with our friend Brian back there um, being able to see how beautiful it is to be out on the water you guys welcome to Oregon's Adventure Coast and yeah I have kind of a soft spot for this place because my first television job was here in 1985 and uh, I'll tell you what it has changed a ton since then back then it was not the place it is today now and, and how much money does tourism bring in here $268 million a year is brought to this area, just this area, via tourism. And Oregon's industry brings $12 billion, more than $12 billion. So this really is a major industry. And so who are those people that benefit? Well, it's people like Brian, because he's now part of the tourism industry, because this is going to bring people and give them something to do and something to play when they're down here. All right, Brian, thank you. Thank you. Tell them again how to get a hold of you. Newsboattours.com. All right, man. See you aboard. All right. And we, so this starts today, and then we're going to be at the farmer's market in just a little while. And then the rest of our day is up in the air because so we're having, the tall ships are supposed to come in today, but we understand there may be a little bit of a pro, of weather issue. So it may not be till tomorrow. So we'll keep you posted. We'll either be here live going out to the ships or we'll be waiting to do it tomorrow, but we'll find something to fill that time. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Share this on your page and enter the contest. You can't win if you don't enter.